As the operation to hunt down those behind a series of attacks in Lamu County continues, debate over the deployment of the Kenya Defense Forces in the region was taken to the floor of the House, with opposition members questioning the legality of the move. According to the legislators, due process was not followed, for only the National Assembly is seized with powers of authorizing such deployment. If you deploy under Article 241.3b, which is telling us that is what the government has done, you are required by law under KDF Act to report within seven days, not seven sitting days, seven days to Parliament. Madam Speaker, I want to know if that is the case, has this government informed the, the parliament within seven days as per the requirement of KDF Act. Majority leader Eden Dwale, however, defended the government move, saying it has a constitutional mandate to deploy troops during emergencies and disaster situations. The case of Lamu within the confines of Article 241.3b, where, where on emergency, the other security agencies have sought in 241.3b, they have sought the assistance of KDF in a limited form. Would, would, I be, would I be in order, Madam Speaker? Yeah? Would I be in order, Madam Speaker, to declare order, that, that court let's, is let's not patriotic finish. because they don't want us to deploy the army members, internationally and members. locally? Without our patriotism, Madam Speaker, we would not raise matters touching on constitutionality of the acts of this government. So when we, act, when we ask a very important question, and uh, some members, Madam Speaker, are trying to trivialize a matter that I think, in fact, the leader of majority was just attempting to imagine, to respond to it through quoting Article 241, 3B. Education, please. I really want the debate ensued even as leaders drawn from the volatile region decried the manner the security forces are conducting the multifaceted operation. According to them, many innocent civilians are being harassed in the name of restoring order. What walamu wanaenda kugutua gutua milango siku na wengine wanapigwa vichwa ni nasikia kuna mama analia kwa simu uh, area ya mkunumbi nasikia kuna wengine wamepotezwa hawajulikani wako wako wapi ADF have, have been sent to Lamu which is an illegal action but as leaders, we didn't mind because we wanted security because KDF was sent to Lamu without the approval of the parliament and now we are realizing the damages they are creating in Lamu in Mombasa, religious leaders in Likoni constituency have condemned what they say is rumor mongering among area residents on matters security, terming them a recipe for chaos. Anda kutoka kila mahali, watu wanaongea na watu wanasema vitu vingi. Na ndio tumeona afadhali tuongee na watu wetu wasifate uvumi na tena tunaongea tukisema ingawa mambo hai natendeka Pia watu wafahamu ya kwamba, sisi hatuna vita, hata kidogo. Their condemnation followed the horrific attack in Soweto area where masked gunmen killed three people including a 12-year-old girl. During the attack, incitement leaflets were left behind so much that to date area residents are still discussing their origin, albeit in low tones.